What up, world? It's your one and only favorite Urban Family on YouTube and IG, The Herbs. And, uh, you know, shout out to all you that's been sticking with us from day one. I mean, we've been able to treat you all to amazing recipes that Patricia has cooked up with you guys step by step. Hopefully you made them at home yourself and, you know, was able to enjoy delicious meals with your family. We've also gone to restaurants and tried out things and let you know what's popping in mostly Brooklyn. And also let you know to stay away from certain things like, uh, I don't know, Beyond Meat. And Ooh, that smells like Alpo. <laughs> that smells like... <laughs> <laughs> other fad little fast food whatever alternative stuff and a beautiful thing too we've done throughout the years was uh, able to see our children grow man like they weren't even able to walk just sitting on counters grabbing knives and stuff out of that dance for water and salt <laughs> don't to boil so now you'll see that they are, you know, super opinionated, boisterous characters. And we, we love them for that. And then there's me. Honestly, I didn't think that I was gonna be as hyped as I am for this product, as I am for this product. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, you know, in all seriousness, without further ado, I want to unveil for you and then give you a backstory with this damn boot right here. Lens. Boulder boot waterproof one. Uh, the color is weathered umber. I got in a size 14. Now, what is so special about this boot, right? I mean, to anyone who doesn't even know Lems, I just discovered Lems thanks to my sister in law. But once again, I'm gonna give you that backstory in a sec. So it's brand new to me, about what, two months old, if that, since I started looking them up and things. So they recommended that I get uh, one size up. I wear 13, I got them in a 14. Now what this would be considered is a minimalist boot. Part of that whole barefoot running, barefoot shoes, minimalist sneaker fad that I learned so much about in the past month and is amazing. So now you ask yourself, what is a minimalist uh, shoe versus you know the regulars that we have or barefoot, right? So basically it has to have a certain criteria. Like I'm not gonna break this down. It's not no unboxing like that. If you want, you can go on YouTube yourself and just Google anything from Lens, uh, Vivo Barefoot, uh, Vibram. Like, there's so many, uh, so many, Zero, Wildlings. Like, just telling you, bare, you just type it in. Minimalist shoes, minimalist sneakers, barefoot shoes, and it's it's insane. But criteria would be flexibility, right? I mean, this is a boot, okay? Waterproof boot. Check this out. Look at this. It said, what, what fell out of there? Oh. A stone from underneath next you'll have to have a wide toe box now listen to what I'm saying a wide toe box look at this shit. look at the size of this that I mean and you'll see why I just blew my mind and realizing the importance in that another thing they must have is a zero drop what is a zero drop if you think about all the cushion shoes that we wear and things like that normally the heel is sitting up higher then the toe, zero drop, basically the heel is in line with the toe. So wherever it's sitting, this is on like a nine millimeter um, outer sole. I believe I'm not mistaken, and there's a two millimeter insert for a little more padding. If I could get this bad boy out to show you. Okay, boom. So this is about, this is really thin, and it's, you know, end to end, the same, same uh, millimeters, which is two. Um, yeah. And then super lightweight. Now, this one shoe with a size 14 is a pound at three eighths of an ounce. A pound. This one boot. Um. So now let me break it down as to why. I uh, am as what you would call a sneakerhead, right? But now, as the years gone by, I'll be 42 this year. Past few years. I've gone from like having back surgeries. I had to get my knee drained last year, you know, like a year and change. And pending surgery or inserting gels, I've just been suffering. And then major feet pain. I got like bunions. And like throughout the years, I've had like three, three ingrown toenail on my big toe um, removals on each side. So that's six times I've had to get that in my life. Um, yeah, man, my feet have been jacked up, like just jacked up, jacked up, jacked up. So 
I then started copying things like the first pair, like I would say, like I, you know, was a comfortable shoe and I got clowned on and they would say, oh, those cute dad shoes was the Jordan, I think, Jordan MA2s, which are these things, right? Super cushion, <laughs> this humongous sole, decent sized toe box, but I didn't care because they felt so good. They were so comfortable. I was like, yo. Alright, like so I got clowned, but I thought they were stylish and you know I copped man like and it was like yo I think I don't care anybody say these things are hella comfortable. I'm um, I'm sticking with that. But then you know I was like they were white and I had to keep cleaning them, they got dirty. So then I copped that there was a Nike React Infinity I don't know, Infinity something flying it too. Which would then these <laughs> flying it, you know, as you could this these ain't, ain't twisting this, even though it's like the material up in materials just like knitted and whatnot but once again getting clown for dad shoes and whatnot but i didn't care because it felt right it felt comfortable after that was what i think the asic gel light threes now this is when everything changed this i got right before christmas i think or whatever and it was hella comfortable but you know once again narrow up but the cushioning, was, it just really felt like you're walking on pillows or clouds and whatnot. But once again, I like dad shoes, like my sister was saying, clown me, whatnot. And then my sister, my Joanna, and I started chopping it up and she pushed it again. And that's when I started looking it up and I was like, all right, bet. Let me go see what it do. Now, I know this looks crazy and then I'm showing you this boot. But let me just let me just give you my resume real quick. And this is just like a little half ass resume, all right? Like, so just I do understand, put some spec on my name, and I'm gonna show you right now. Just a little side sample of what your boy's working with. Okay. This is one little whatever. Okay. Eh, another little little little, little something something. Uh, I don't even remember I picked this one up. Maybe late last year. Okay, you know. But as you can see with every single one of these joints, super narrow, super clunky, super stiff, fly as hell, but, and one of the holy grails. So just do understand that why this boot, now, these lems, these boulders, and shout out to lems, shout out to Vivo Barefoot, shout out to Zero, shout out to Wildlings. Because if all you guys are running on this same plane, I wore this for the first day. First day today. And I didn't even put my steel toe boots on. Because I wear construction. And I normally, I'm wearing this. This is, you know, steel toe. Yeah, I ain't flexing this. Just torture. And 8 hours a day, 40 hours a week. It's just miserable. But we had a little, it was a little light day. So... You know, I could get away with this. Ain't nobody gonna check. And plus, we weren't really working that heavy. And I was just like, I was just in amazement. Initially, with the zero drop, and my feet kind of just sitting in there, my knees kind of like, I don't know, they kind of locked. And I was like, whoa, all right. But, and then, you know, you don't feel the cushion, like, all right. But, yo, as the day went by, and I'm just walking, and I'm doing whatever, I'm running up the stairs, doing, bending, doing whatnot, and just, it felt like, some sexy Hugh half from the slippers I had on or something. I, I, I don't know which well how we have to explain it, but I was just like, like I ain't taking these shits off. But I might sleep with these things. And this is day one. This I, I mean, first of all, too, it was like instant breaking, instant breaking. This toe box, having my toes just swish around for the first time ever. Like my my toes, like that bunion on my left side was just like, fam, what have you been doing, fam? Like like I I just felt everything just felt right. So I'm sitting here like, yo, all right. One thing I will say is it's snowing up here in New York City now, we're, you know, or about to, well, it's about to, but it's freezing. And this thing was super warm. So keeping that in mind, like, oh, damn, what am I doing in the summertime? So I'm already like playing in my playing in my head. And I want to ask you, the people, you know, to one, if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe already. <laughs> Share this video. And also, I need some feedback because I need a pair of kicks to rock with this in the summertime. Like this thing, man, I hope and pray this lasts forever. You know, I, I mean, I, the sole, like, it, as light as it is, everything seems stitched up well. Like this thing looks like it's going to last. Oh, and I'm going to show you this trick. These are about three ounces different in weight. I think this is 12, if I remember. 
12 and three quarters of an ounce, flying it. 12 and three quarters of an ounce. This is a pound and three eighths. So if I'm doing my math correctly, 16 ounces is a pound, right? So I may be off by a little bit. You know, I'm not the best in, in our math, but I don't understand how a boot is, is almost as light as some fly knit running shoes. What are y'all doing over there, limbs? Like, let me know. And I'm so miserable because if you look this up, you go on YouTube right now, you type in boulder boots, you can get reviews and, you know, trials and whatnot from eight years ago. What, the, what, was I, what was I wearing eight years ago? I, it's like, how is this now on my radar? And I guess it's the demographic. Like, I get it. You're, this is, they're based out in Colorado. You always see, like, they got videos, and it's always white people hiking and all that stuff. And that's dope. And I think I may want to hike now. Just, just, just shit. Like, whatever. Like, you know, just the comfort alone. Like, I, I don't, it, it's just insane. Like, right? Because I know there's way more people suffering than myself with their feet, with their knees, with their back. And it's because we're looking fly with this shit on? Really? And we continue to pump the money into Nike, Reebok, Adidas, New Balance. New Balance, but I got some white joints too, actually. And Asics, I know they do as well, but you know you know that the regular cash cows that keep going and we keep lining up and we keep buying, we keep damaging our bodies. And like, if you're sitting there and saying like, I don't know if it's not advertised properly. I don't know what. But what I'm going to do, because before you go out there and go try, go buy it, don't hold on, hold your money. Let me hold this down for 30 days straight. Then I'm going to come back and really give you a concise, like, true on. One, one, two, please look up Barefoot Shoes if you don't know about it. Or Miller Miller Shoes on YouTube. There's so much pros and cons, but I've seen way more pros than any cons, right? And, and how to do it, how to even introduce yourself into it. Like, one of the things that I did... I've now been, since, you know, COVID, I've been working out at home barefoot for over a year now. And that's thanks to Mark Wildman and all his kettlebell training, things like that. Like, so I've been barefoot working out and not even realizing that I was already headed in a step in the right direction. Because to get yourself used to being walking in zero drop shoes and things like that, once you've been cushioning, you've got to acclimate your feet. And the best way to do it is actually walking barefoot outside but you could do it in your house too like you know they got glass and shit out there especially if you live in the city so one of the ways is to work out with it and um so i've been doing that i got my toe <laughs> got my toe spacers <laughs> but they're helping they're helping they hurt but they help so but i mean, i got in there like i said initially i was like mm? and then you know not even 45 minutes in i was like wow where have you been my entire life so on this little journey, I'm going to pop in. Believe you me, Patricia's going to get back into chopping some shit up. I'm going to try to cut them up a little faster because I know how people digest things. This might even be too long of a video. But um, we're going to get back into it. You know, please share, like, share, subscribe. Let me know where's the next sneaker I should get. And then also, I mean, the canvas boulder. I do, because uh, uh, if, if if it, if it's the boulder and then it's that's it, then I'll just be in the boots forever, and I'll just get a one of the the vegan, really mesh ones that are breathable, non waterproof, and then I'll just rock those two for for the rest of my days. But I'm truly amazed at how dope this is. And then another challenge that I have, or as anybody knows, is there such a thing as like a minimalist NC rated work boot, like something like this with a steel toe so i don't have to suffer at work like this because i may get my ass in trouble and possibly hurt myself because i don't know if i'm going back to this and i gotta be in at work like i don't know so if you guys know of a company or a brand that is doing something like that that's super innovative for all those that are you know that that live this life please let me know uh yeah so once again like share subscribe follow us on ig this year 2020 we're gonna hit it hard i promise you're gonna see lens wow thank you